want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. All right, good guys, morning to you. Hey, how y'all doing? What's up? Good guys, morning to you. Good guys, morning to you. Do me a favor, do me a favor and love and share this. Come on, you can do it. Love and share this. Love and share this. Good guys, morning to each and every one of you all. Beloved, it's Thursday. It's almost Friday. Friday. Woo. About to close with another week. Amen. The Lord has blessed us, kept us, never left us. Amen. God is doing some wonderful and great things in our life. And we just need to testify. Amen. Just testify about the goodness of the Lord. Good God's morning again to each and every one of you. I pray all is well with you on this Thursday morning. Another day. That the Lord has kept us. Let us get our scripture for this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Our scripture, beloved, is going to be coming from Psalms. Eighth number of Psalms. The fourth verse. Eighth number of Psalms. The fourth verse. And it reads, it says, What? Is mankind that you, God, is mindful of them? Human beings that you care for them. What is? Somebody shout, what is? What is mankind? That you are mindful of them. Human beings that you care for them. Listen, I don't know if you ever heard, I don't know if you've heard this before, but God loves himself some you. God loves himself some human beings. You hear me? He loves himself some human beings. Why does he love himself some human beings? Because we were created in his image. Beloved, if you go a little further at, at the uh, verse uh, 5, it says that we are a little lower than the angels. I don't know if you ever heard a song. There's a song that we used to sing back in the day. It says that we have a song that even the angels cannot sing. We, we, we are just so special to God because we, beloved, we can sing. We, beloved, we we have a mouthpiece. Look at somebody and say, I got a mouthpiece. A mouthpiece that we can express to God. 
We can express to God. We can tell God how good he is. We've been made in his image, in his likeness. Beloved, we are so special. Don't let nobody tell you that you are not special to God because you are. We are the only beings that can talk back. And not when I mean talk back, I don't mean like how we talk, how the little kids be talking back to their parents. No, no, I mean that can tell God just how good He is. That can thank Him. That can give Him praise. That can give Him glory. That can sing the songs of Zion to Him. We are the only human beings that do that. The angels don't. The animals, they have their own language, you know, birds for sure. But we, beloved, we are his workmanship. Y'all remember that verse we, we explored? We looked at one good God's warning and, it, and we were talking about we are his workmanship. So what is man mankind? I'm God's workmanship. I've been made in his image. And he is mindful of me because I am just like him. I am an image of him. I am a a, 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 a direct creation of him. Grandma used to say in, in the word of God, it says, I once was young, but now I'm old. But I've never seen the righteous, the human beings forsaken nor the seed we are the seed of abraham begging for bread beloved you gotta know this morning that you are something special in the eyesight of god and many people will cause you to want to be um, um, not like yourself to have to make you have low self esteem to make you just you know think that God doesn't love you, beloved. God loves you. He loves each and every one of us. Period. Because we were made in His image, we were His workmanship. It does not matter if you if you're tall, you're short, you're fat, you're skinny, you you you, you do this or you do that. We all have been created in the image of God and with different assignments, with different talents, with different gifts to edify the whole body of Christ. We are to come together, not work uh, apart from each other. We are his workmanship. You are so important to God. God will move heaven and earth just for you. You are so important to God. God will take care of any and everything that is bothering and concerning you. He said, cast your cares upon me for I care for you. You are so important to God that when you hungry, guess what? All you got to do is say, God, I need bread. I need, I need, I need. And, and guess what? He comes. He sends. You are so important to God. He said, ask and it shall be given unto you. You are so important to God that he said, if you seek, it'll, it, 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 it'll be given unto you. You'll find it. He's, you are so important to God that if you knock, beloved, a door is going to be open somewhere for you. You are so important to God. What is you? I am a human being that God is mindful of me. That's what I am. I am a workmanship made in the image of God. I am God's child. He's mindful of of me. You even be mindful of someone. You are very concerned and attentive to their needs. You know their needs before they know it. When you're mindful of someone, you know what's wrong with them before they'll admit that something is wrong with them. When you're mindful of them, 
God is so mindful of you that he knows what's going what's bothering you before you say anything. He knows every hair that's on your head. He knows the number of it. Do you know how many numbers you know how many hairs you got on your head? You probably like, "Oh, Lord." Huh? God knows that he's so mindful of you. He know everything about you. What makes you tick, what makes you talk, what makes you get angry, when you upset, when you when you're happy. He knows it all. Mindful. He's very attentive to you. Don't let nobody fool you. Don't let nobody tell you that God is not concerned or mindful or love you he does he does and and you know what he loves you so much that we man you would be surprised there is no listen beloved there is nobody no other person or being that can ask god for something and god delivers there is no other person or being that can 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 pray and God hears and he he hurries to run and to perform your word that come out of your mouth to him that's his word there's no other being beloved know today that you are something important you are somebody you are someone important, and God loves you beyond your measurements. He loves you today. He's mindful of you. He cares so much for you. I don't care what people have told you. Please know today that God loves you. He cares for you. He cares so much. You know what? He forgives us over and over again. When we've fallen short, when we haven't done just exactly what he has called us to do for whatever reason, he forgives us. Now, come on now. Some of y'all still holding on grudges <laughs> from years. But God says, I cast that in the sea of forgiveness. I'm not worried about that. He's mindful of you. He cares for you. Get that in your heart. Get that in your head today. No matter what you're going through, no matter what you've been through, no matter what people have tried to tell you, please know today that God is mindful of you. He's aware He's watching. And he cares for you. He's concerned about you. Period. Matter of fact, matter of fact, put an exclamation mark there. Pow. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Lord. God, that you care so much for us you care when we're hurt you care when we're feeling lonely when we're feeling lost you care god when the pressures of life weigh us down god you care when things are just uh, bothering us and irritating and aggravating and frustrating for us god you care for us we thank you and god because you care you said that we could cast all our cares upon you that you'll handle that load. You'll handle that burden. We don't have to be, be sad, depressed, lonely, frustrated, aggravated. We can cast all that on you. And God, you care for us. You will carry that load for us so that we can be better. God, we thank you for being mindful of us. Knowing every need, every concern, every thought. It goes on in our hearts and our minds. And God, I thank you not just for knowing it, but God doing something about it. 
Thank you, God, for contending with those who contend with us. Thank you, God, for fighting our battles, God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. That you love us so much. That you care for us so much. That you gave your life for us. And Lord, your word says that whosoever believe in you should not perish, but have everlasting life. And so, God, you, you died for all of us. You, you are mindful of every human being on this planet. You're mindful. You care for all of us. God, you are a great God. You are a good, good father. You don't pick and choose. But Lord, you love all. God, we thank you that you made us in your image. You, you took so much care and, 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 and skill in making us into your image. Not, not just any image, but your image. Making us a little, a little lawyer, lower, lower than the angels. God, you cared about us so very much. Hallelujah. That you you even causing light to, to shine upon us, God. You're even causing, God, rain to, to pour on us, God. Not to, to drown us out, but God, to, 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 to water the seeds that we've planted on the earth. God, we thank you. We thank you. God, we can ask and it shall be given. We can seek and God will find. We, we can knock and the door will be open unto us. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. God, touch and help someone who's out there who, who isn't sure of themselves. Who, for whatever reason, God, they've listened to other people. And they fail to hear your voice and to hear that you love them regardless of who they are or what they've done. Because you've made them in that image. You knew all about them. So God, help us. Help us all. Help our unbelief. Help our depression. Help our fear. Help our worry. God, help us all. We thank you. God, we give you praise, glory, and honor for you caring so much about us, for you making us into your image. We ask your blessing upon us today. Your workmanship. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Do me a favor, beloved. Look at yourself. I can see my myself in my screen, but I want you to look at yourself. And when you finish, get you a camera or um, your phone. Use your phone or get you a mirror. And I want you to look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that you have been made in the image of God. You are exactly who he wants you to be. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, self, I'm exactly who God made me to be. And he loves everything about you. So what? Somebody else don't love it. They missing out. Because you, you something fabulous, honey. So what? You something fabulous. So what if they don't love or what God has made? They miss it out. Because you something fabulous. <laughs> Good guys morning to each and every one of y'all. Y'all have a blessed and a beautiful Thursday. Blessed and a beautiful Thursday. And we will see you all tomorrow. Same time, same place. For another Good God's Morning moment. Alright? Good God's Morning to you all. Again, look at yourself in the mirror 
and say, ooh, wee, you is so fabulous. Ooh, set this, listen, he broke the mold when he made you, okay? Victoria say, listen to my girl. She loves herself some Fantasia, y'all. She said, listen to my girl Fantasia song. Um, I don't know what that song is, Victoria. What the name of that song, Victoria? Because <laughs> I don't know what song she's talking about. <laughs> listen, look at yourself in the mirror and say, I am, girl, you is fabulous. Oh, he broke the mold when he made me. Okay. Tell yourself that today. Please know that God is mindful of you and that God cares for you. That song called I'm Beautiful, go listen to it. I don't know what it's I need to go listen to it myself, so let me go listen to it too, okay? <laughs> all right, good guys, morning to each and every one of y'all. We love you all. There's nothing you can do about it. Love and share this. Love and share this. Oh, yeah, uh, first lady say Mary J. What, what that song called, honey? We love you all. There's nothing you can do about it. And we'll see you all tomorrow again. Same time, same place. Oh, good morning, gorgeous, she said. Good morning, gorgeous. Listen, you, listen, stop listening and filling yourselves up with the negativity of other people. If other people cannot appreciate who you are and whom God has made you to be, exit left by you don't like my 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 hair, my stringy hair, curly hair, whatever hair. If I ain't got no hair, you don't like it. Okay, bye bye boo boo. If you don't like my my chunkiness, skinniness, thickness, whatever, bye bye boo boo. If you don't like it, see the door. Because God loves it. He made me. Okay? You learn to love yourself. You talk about self-love and self-care. Love yourself and love, love, love you and whom God has made you to be. Appreciate that. You were not a mistake. You were not an error. Okay? He, he loves you. He is mindful. He is concerned about you because he made you just the way he wants you to be made. If only you would appreciate what God made. Appreciate yourself. Don't wait for nobody else to say it. Don't wait for nobody else to say you beautiful, you lovely, you know, I appreciate you. Appreciate yourself. Love yourself. Good God's morning to you. Y'all have a beautiful and blessed day, okay? And we'll see you all tomorrow, same time, same place, for another good God's morning. All right? Good God's morning to you all. Bye. If you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace. God's have a better connection with Jesus Christ So tune in to Good God's Morning Good God's Morning Good God's Morning Good God's Morning